Court. We've learned why the wife of the man accused of leaving his son in a hot car to die was not in court for his hearing today. Cooper Harris died last summer outside of his father's place of work in Cobb County. Channel 2's Ross Cavett's been on this story with every major development, and Ross knew this hour. We're hearing from the wife's attorney. Right, somewhat surprisingly, earlier today, Justin Ross Harris and his attorneys decided not to try to challenge the use of secretly recorded conversations between Harris and his wife, Leanna. That's why court ended early today. Uh, but one thing they did try to do is have a judge toss out his strange interactions with police. And therefore, the statements will be admissible. Judge Mary Staley ruled jurors could hear what Justin Ross Harris said to police and detectives after his 22-month-old son Cooper had been found dead in the back of his father's SUV. His actions, an officer testified, not like a father who lost his son. The yelling was somewhat monotone. It wasn't what you'd normally see at, like, death scenes where you see tears. Then later at police headquarters, a detective testified when he told Harris he'd face murder and child cruelty charges. He acted more like a lawyer. At that time, he looked at me and goes, there was no malicious intent. Than a grieving father. It was an unusual statement. Surprisingly, Harris's lawyers withdrew an objection to prosecutors using a recorded conversation between Harris and his wife, Leanna, in which she allegedly asked him, Did you say too much? Well, she's concerned. Obviously, she wants Ross to have a fair trial, and she watched from as she able to do, you know, streaming online. Leanna Harris's attorney, Lawrence Zimmerman, told me she intentionally avoided the courthouse this week, but still believes in her husband's innocence and hers as well. Even recently said to me she's still waiting for Mr. Reynolds to stand up in front of the microphones and tell the world that she had absolutely nothing to do with her child's death. Although she believes it's accidental, she clearly had no connection to it, and they can't even make a connection. Well, spokesman for District Attorney Vic Reynolds said late this afternoon because he never named or even implied that she'd be a suspect. Really, there's no reason for him to comment on it. As for Justin Ross Harris, still some crucial motions to be decided in this case. They'll have hearings next month, and they're trying to set a trial date for early next year. We're live outside the courthouse. Ross Cavett, Channel 2 Action News.